Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back today to some more Tank Quest series and today I'm quite happy because today I'm playing in the Kranvang. Now this is a tank actually that I spent ages really properly grinding out for, like really trying really hard to get and then I got it and I haven't actually played that many games in it I don't believe, yeah 22 games and I apparently play it like, well I don't play it like shite about 3,000 damage average every game but apparently I don't win that many games hmm, interesting I need to play this tank more anyway guys so welcome back to tank quest series now obviously to do a tank quest series to continue the series you guys need to vote on what tanks you want me to play now I'm quite well, not disappointed but that makes me sound like a parent I'm very disappointed in you but I'm kind of disappointed that in the last video this was the most requested tank and it only got two votes so you know, so just simply, um, there should be a Google Documents link, guys, in the um, description down below. Click through that, or if you know what tanks I've got, um, and then pick a tank. Let's simply write it in the comments, pick what tank you want me to play, and then give other comments whilst you're down there. Thumbs up, and I'll play the most voted for tank next time. So today we are playing in the Kranvang, the tier 10 Swedish heavy tank. Oh, the S1's in the tech tree now. Did not realise that. Um, anyway, I get distracted. So yeah, it's the tier 10 Swedish heavy tank. Obviously, it's not an entire heavy tank line. You start off with light tanks, then you've got some medium tanks in there from tiers 4 through to tier 7. Oh, excuse me, guys. Then you've got the Emil 1, the Emil 2, and then finally finish off at the Kranvang at tier 10. Now, what is the Kranvang good for? Now, it's got a 4-shell autoloader, 3 shells in uh, uh, three seconds between each shell, and 33 seconds complete loading time. With 252mm of standard penetration and 400 average damage, the same as you got on the Emil 2 because it's the same gun. Um, but the time between shells is a lot lower, the reload's a lot lower. Uh, you got 300mm of heat pen, 0.36 accuracy, which is better than the Emil 2, and 2.5 seconds aim time as well, which is very, very nice. Other things that differ between this tank and the Emil 2 are this tank's got better upper hull armour and better turret armour. Now, if you look at the turret armor, it's only 225mm thick, and you think, oh, well, that's not particularly great. And then you go, boom! And holy moly, it's angled well. And this turret is pretty much, especially combined with the fact that this tank has got 12 degrees, yet yeah, 12, 12 degrees of gun depression. More gun depression than it has elevation, I should point out. Um, that frontal turret armor is absolutely ridiculous. And if you can hide your play as well and use your gun depression, the upper hull armor is also pretty good at 90 millimeters thick. And it is very, very, very well angled. Oh, excuse me. I can't stop yawning or hiccuping or doing something today. It's very well angled both um, vertically and horizontally, which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, other than that, the crown rung is also pretty fast. Um, it is, where is it? Uh, 15.5. 4, 9 horsepower per ton, which for every tank is really nice, and it goes 60 kilometers an hour forwards. You rarely get to that, but it's nice that it can go that fast. Uh, it's got a decent view range of 390 meters, which combined with, I use proven consumable, you can't obviously use a um, uh, tank gun rammer. Um, so I'm using uh, vert stabs, obviously. Optics and vents and as well as that with pretty consumable. Um, I've got a female crew in here the um, Christmas Christmas crew members the female Christmas crew members that we got for the Swedish tanks with sister to steel Means that I've got a really nice view range as well 2,000 hit points is pretty good And yeah, that's about all you need to know about the Cranvon guys So like I said before make sure you go down into the comments and vote on what tank you want me to play next and Other than that, let's go get into some games so, he yeah, here we go, guys, into the first game, and we are on a mountain pass. Hmm. There's not a lot of opportunities for me to use my gun. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a lot of opportunities for me to use my gun depression on this map. I might possibly try and get down to the K4 kind of area. Uh, I can't stop going to try and shoot across at any guys up here. We've got a tier 8 game, which is pretty good. Um, got a good E100 player on our team, and a good me. Well, I say a good me. I've been playing World of Tanks like absolute crap recently. It's not been great. Oh, yay, half the team AFK. Whoop, whoop. Hello. 
<laughs> right. Let's see what we can do. Now, I apologize in advance. Uh, uh, no, not in advance. Um, I realized that I've got my um, uh, the loadout I was using for ranked battles. Um, I was using, obviously, slightly more heat than I usually would. Which is why I've got 20 heat and 20 APCR. But, also, when you think about it, you do kind of think, well, with the amount of s super heavy tanks in the game these days. Um, excuse me. The amount of super heavy tanks in the game these days, is it such a bad idea? I mean, I know there's none in this game, but 252mm of penetration against a mouse or a Type 5 Heavy is not really going to work. I keep yawning. I can't help it. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so we've we put a couple of shots in across the um, across the middle at the start of the game. We hit one, we missed one, but now I've reloaded fully. I'm waiting for my 100 friend to push up. So I've got smoke coming out of it. Jeez, look at that! What engines this got in it? Oh, that was pathetic, Max. What was that? I'm hoping he didn't spot me. Actually, I know he didn't spot me because I've got six cents. Ooh, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff around here. A lot of stuff. I'm just going to chill for a minute. This is my problem recently with World of Tanks. I don't chill enough. I'm always far too aggressive far too quickly. And I end up dying too quickly and then wondering why I've died. Why can I not see that guy? That that guy? That guy. Oh, Jesus. Come on, can somebody come around this side, please? Okay, I'm bored. Why are you doing this, Max? You're gonna regret it. Oh well. Oh well. At least I have kind of got friends at least. Didn't. And bounced. So far we've fired, well, I'd say two clips, a clip and a half, and we've penned two shots. Good. Oh well, not to worry. It's four all. I'm not dead, I'm still on 1500 hit points. Alright. Should have possibly gone for, gone for that guy's turret. Hey, side turret. Okay, so that's now two and a half clips. We're at the minute we're averaging a shot of damage per clip. This isn't great, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, the T54's run away. T57 can't really. Is that a heat he's firing? Yes it is. Yes it is. He's just fired all four rounds though. So I'm not gonna move in. Hopefully kill both these guys. One of those guys. Oh, I only did 100 damage to him. Serial. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Game, throw me a bone. Didn't even have to be a bone, just throw me something. Oh, that okay. I'll take that bone game. Thank you for the bone. Alright, let's 
Let's go for a reload. Okay, there's still there's there is still some work to be done yet in this game. So obviously I'm a lot faster than this E100. Are they gonna try and cap? That's the question. I'm hoping that bat chat's gonna find out whether they've gone towards the cap or whether they've gone. Oh well, our cap or gone back to base to defend their cap. Oh dear, VK. He hit me! He did turn down. Oh, the R3 hit me, the cheeky bug. Re really? The E100 just shot me. The E100 actually just shot me, also, I need to load heat. Why am I. Why? Yeah, that's this bad. Okay, I don't really know. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm getting there towards the cap, but but oh, he's just moaning that everybody's a bot here. Yeah, that was that bad chance. That was that bad chat's fault. When I said I wonder if that bad chat's gonna find out, he probably should have gone back towards the base and not gone. Yeah. Fuck, oh, gee, what? Did I hear that bad chat blind? That bad chat? Borsig. Must hit the Borsig block. Okay, yeah, well done, E100. Well done, mate. Well done. Well played. Eh, 3.8k damage. It's not too shabby. Anyway, let's let's do let's play another game. I mean, yes, I should have gone back to the cab quicker possibly, but I thought the Batchel was going to go back, and there was no reason for that A100 to shoot me. In all honesty, he does he doesn't need to. Yeah, I understand. See, this is why we've got 20 heat rounds. Um, yeah, I understand that. Uh, we're gonna lose the cap. There's shooting me won't help help the situation. In a way, he potentially screwed us over, because if they wouldn't have put three in the cap, if they'd have just had two in the cap, and I was a couple of seconds off resetting, and one of them would have snapshot me and killed me in his first shot, that would have been the A100's fault, because I should have been on more health. And that was me praising him that he was a good player at the start of the game. He's a dick. If you see that guy in battle, he's a dick. I don't know what his name was, I'm not going to name and shame him, but he was a dick. Hmm, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Let's go with the heavies. Because they've got more medium tanks than we have. Right, we is loaded. We is loaded, good England. For the next clip, and I don't really care. I'm hoping the C5 makes a mistake and comes out too far so I can pen his. Um... Actually, it could have possibly gone for his Capola then. Jesus. I need to sell my game for you. It's really quiet. There we go, I'm actually here now. Through this. I'm thinking that 57 heavies fired all of his shots. Oh, why is there only 100 there? 
Oh, how does that not pay? That's now put me in a very awkward situation. This guy's loaded. And he's firing heat as well. What is it with 57 heavies and firing heat today? Hey, Effie. How's it going? Actually, probably... Best thing for me to do here would be side scrape because heat rounds are... Uh, he says. Wait, is that all of them? Yeah, pen two. Pen two, bounce two. That's right. Now, two can play that heat game. Actually, that guy's gonna... Is it just me or is that... that I think that guy's gonna reload before me. That Oh, Jesus H. Christ and a... Why? Ahaha! Ah, 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 tracks! Uh. No! Please! Ah! Uh. Why you do this? No! Oh, that wasn't fair. Well, that game was just a load of crap, guys, quite honestly. Um, what should I have done? Well, I... I don't really know. Because I, I... I could say, oh, well, I could have gone towards the mediums to try and use my gun to pressure. Ooh. Could have gone there, but... The amount of tanks that have... Uh, I wasn't really paying much attention to this flank. The amount of tanks that have poured over from this... This side of the map. I don't think I'd have had much of a difference and I'd have just died over there. Then our team's not done anything on this side either, and I can't really, because as you saw, the 57 Heavy just penned me easily, oh, <laughs> penned me easily, everything penned me easily, well, we lost 15-4, I don't think there was really a lot I could have done there. Do you have brain? No. My brains are all over the floor, they have fallen out of my ears. Anyway, one good game, one bad game. Unfortunately, it was the way around that you probably saw the good game and then thought, Max, you're a scrub, not watching anymore. But yeah, at least you saw the good game. Anyway, so thank you all so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you go and vote on what tank you want me to play next. Um, leave a comment in the comments and then give other comments thumbs up. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, please um, consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.